This tutorial is about writing systems of linear equations in a matrix vector form. Some preliminary knowledge of matrices and vectors is assumed, so I will not go into the very low level details, but I will include as much detail as I think is necessary to perform the operations that I'll be talking about. So for example, let's suppose that you have a system of equations consisting of three variables and three equations. The first equation is x1 plus 2x2 minus 4x3 equals 3. The second is 2x1 plus 2x3 equals 4. And the third one is negative x1 minus 2x2 equals 0. Notice that I aligned all of the variables vertically. This is to help visualize the next step a little bit better. This can be rewritten in the following way. x1 times the vector 1, 2, minus 1 plus x2 times the vector 2, 0, minus 2 plus x3 times the vector negative 4, 2, 0. And all of this is equal to the right hand side of our equations, 3, 4, 0. What this says is that we have a vector 1, 2, negative 1, which is the coefficients of the variable x1, plus the vector 2, 0, negative 2, which are again the coefficients of the variable x2, and so on. And we said that equal to a vector of the constant. To get each individual equation, you can look across corresponding elements in the vectors and the solution, and you can see that you have 1 times x1 plus 2 times x2 minus 4 times x3 is equal to 3, which is exactly what we had in the original first equation. Likewise for the second and the third equation present here. Now, we can combine the left-hand side of the equality into a matrix times a single vector. This arises from the fact that you can rewrite this kind of a system in the following way. So we can have a coefficient 1 times vector 1 plus coefficient 2 times vector 2 plus so on until coefficient n times vector n. This can be written in the form of a matrix where the columns are v1, v2, and so on until vn. times a vector which is made up of the coefficients c1, c2, down to cn. These two are equivalent, where again, the columns of the matrix are the vectors 
in the original equation, and the coefficients are in a vector of their own. So we can see that the system that we have is very similar in form to this. Our v vectors are the coefficients that we used in the equations, and the coefficients here are the variables that we are trying to find. So this can be rewritten as the matrix 1, 2, negative 1, which is the first vector of coefficients, 2, 0, negative 2, negative 4, 2, 0. Those are just the individual vectors from up here times our vector of variables x1, x2, x3, and all of that is still equal to our original solution vector over here. And so there you have the system of equations in a standard matrix form. This can be used for systems which have more variables than equations or more equations than variables. The same principles will apply. Once you look at the system of equations as just having the variables in front of these vectors of the coefficients of the equations, you can see that this form will always be able to be combined using this kind of an equation into the standard matrix form of the system of linear equations. That's all for this tutorial.